Hello again, all dub nation. Kumas Depo. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Welcome to my channel. Alden and Main Edition. Luckily, some things will always be easy, like my body acne control skincare routine. First, I wash away the day's dirt, excess oil, and bacteria on my body with Oxycure Sulfur Soap. Then I use Oxycure Body Acne Spray to help dry out body acne and visibly reduce it in as fast as one week. Life can be a hustle, but body care doesn't have to be. I want to ask mm. you how you and your siblings, your family, remember mommy retire during this time. Of course, yung nanay ko is the typical mom na nakat... Kasi we're a very tif typical uh, family that lives in the province. Eh. So, syempre, yan yung uh, pagising sa umaga, mag-aanda ng angusol sa mga anak. Tapos, hintayin kami makapasok sa school. Pagkatapos, maglalaba, magluluto. Tapos, maliligo, manonood ng teleserye. Tapos, pag pa na kami, uh, magre-ready na ng hapunan. And then, that's a routine. And uh, I've always remembered my mom as a happy happy person. He, she's... I think sa kanya ko nakuha. Actually, sa kanya ko po nakuha to. My mom gave me this dimple. Nasa kanya yung dimple kasi wala namang dimple yung tatay ko. To the people who knows my mom, uh, alam naman nila na how nice of a person she is. Uh, she's very, uh, she's a person you can trust. And she's very, ano, uh, that will put uh, the kids first. I think lahat naman ng parents ganun eh. Kami muna, bago, bago siya. Yun. And... Uh, she's one of my inspirations and she yung one of the reasons why I'm here in this industry is because it's her dream for me na ma maging mapunta dito. So if you have a message to other kids who lost their parents, their mom to illness, especially now at the time of COVID, madami pong mga nawalan ng parents, uh, what do you want to say to them? Po? Napakasakit nun. I mean... There's no really moving forward with that moment, but it's really a matter of management na lang. Kasi ako, my mom, my mom died April 8, 2008, and that's already, how many years? 13 years. So, 13 years na siyang wala, but still, I've just learned how to manage the emotion, the, the sadness, the, the space that was left there, but there's no really moving on. It's really more of um, uh, mahirap siya, mahirap siyang pagdaanan kasi magulang yan eh. Parang nawalan ka ng kalahati eh, kalahati ng buhay mo. It's okay to cry, it's okay to be sad. Pangit din naman na invalidate natin yun kasi in, well, I can speak from experience because I've been there. Uh, Siyempre mahirap sabihin yan dun sa mga taong hindi pa nararanasan yun pero it's okay to be sad. It's okay to mourn for someone you've lost that's very dear to you, but make sure that you set a cap for that. Parang hanggang dito lang. Let's say ako, whenever I'm sad, that's also one of the things I've learned from the, my mentors. Malungkot ka, bigyan mo lang sarili mo, two days. Game, yaka, dalawang araw, dire-diretso. Basta make sure after that second day of you mourning, okay ka na. And then you move forward. Kasi para na rin dun sa nawala mong mahal sa buhay, you live your life for them because they don't want to see you mourning. They don't want to see you broken. You live for them. You you continue their legacy by doing by by uh, living your life and you know, by making them as your inspiration. Live. That's my advice. Just live. Pasko is a reminder for us to be hopeful and happy and of course always remember that there is love right around the corner. Kasi kahit medyo hindi naging madali yung mga pinagdadaanan natin itong mga huling taon, uh, ang Pasko pa rin ay nandyan para ipaalala sa atin na kapag nananatili lang tayong faithful sa Panginoon at syempre mabuti sa mga tao sa paligid natin, meron at meron pa rin pag-asa at uh, tayo lang din ang makakagawa ng sa isa't isa. So that's the essence of Christmas for me.